Today we're looking at wild oats. Uh, we're, look, we're offering free resistance testing this year, but alongside that, we just want to find out where exactly we've got to with wild oats in the UK. Uh, it's probably not the case that only resistance is what's driving the abundance on farm. We think there are changes in agronomy and patterns of herbicide use. And I've been joined today by Ruth, who's the country manager for Life Scientific. Uh, and Life Scientific is supporting this initiative this year. So Ruth, obviously wild oats are on the rise. Is it something that you're seeing more and more as well? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you're definitely right. It's a change in, in people's attitudes to herbicide use. So people have tried to stop using ALS chemistry because of the resistance with blackgrass. And they've forgotten that ALS chemistry also controls a, a number of other weeds. One of those is wild oats. Hence, we're seeing more and more wild oats on farm. Yeah, I think so. And I think we're seeing that changing agronomy as well, perhaps less cultivation and, and so on. Now. Alongside that, understanding the agronomy drivers and the herbicide drivers, it's an opportunity to just take stock in terms of the resistance profile of, of wild oats out there. What's going to be critical to that succeeding is the quality of the samples that we receive. So we're just going to do an instructional video on what we really want to see uh, when people collect their own wild oat samples. We're happy to test them, but in order for it to work, we really need some good quality samples of wild oats to do the testing on. You're looking at collecting the wild oat seeds second half of July, maybe even into August. It's something actually that can bump up against your harvest operation. You can actually tell because these are much larger um, seeded weeds and some other weeds. You can actually dissect these weeds out and see whether they're starting to mature, whether the, the endosperm is hardening up, just like any cereal seed. If you just run your hand along the, the inflorescence of the wild oak. You should get one or two seeds just coming out, shedding out quite naturally. So how many do, we, do people need to collect? Well, that's, that's important that people understand it, that when you've been perhaps used to collecting black grass and Italian ryegrass samples, those sort of seeds, we normally say we want about a coffee mug full of seed. Now, because these wild oat seeds are just so much larger, and because they've got these awns, and when you collect them, you're likely to get these other parts of the flower in the sample as well, they just don't pack down as well. So what we're actually asking for is if people could get about three coffee mugs full, Not looking for wild oats that are particularly resistant. You're no, looking for, for, no, for any wild oats. No, I think that that undermines one of the key things that we're trying to do. If we only get resistant wild oat samples, we'll get a really skewed image of where we've got to with resistance. We just want to get where people have got a lot of wild oats, whatever reason they suspect is behind it, we're interested in the sample. Tag members will receive a report in the normal way. They'll have a report of their overall summary, as well as any individual test results get sent back to the individual. Uh, and then we'll start talking about it around crop tech. Great, thanks.